Are you listening? Welcome to the Nerf Report. My name is Bryant. And for today's show, you know, I can't help fight the feeling that I've been here already today. We've already done a show, but either way, there's a first time for everything. For today's second show, we need to talk about Google Stadia. And this story, which was broken by 9to5Google, involving a brand new partnership between Google and AT&T, which will see AT&T customers gain the ability to stream Batman Arkham Knight to their computers via Google Cloud Gaming technology. Now, this is obviously a developing story, but we did reach out to Google Stadia for a comment in which they confirmed that AT&T's new gaming experience is running on the same technology as Stadia, and AT&T customers will be able to experience Batman and Arkham Knight in 1080p at 60 frames per second, which is big news as this represents the first time that Google Stadia has been white labeled and Google's cloud gaming technology is now running another company's platform. And none of this should be too much of a surprise, as earlier this year, following the closure of Stadia Games and Entertainment, the vice president of Google Stadia, Phil Harrison, wrote, In 2021, we're expanding our efforts to help game developers and publishers take advantage of our platform technology and deliver games directly to their players. We see an important opportunity to work with partners seeking a gaming solution all built on Stadia's advanced technical infrastructure and platform tools. We believe this is the best path to building Stadia into a long-term sustainable business that helps grow the industry. Vis-a-vis -vis this brand new AT&T cloud gaming platform. Now, we also reached out to AT&T for a comment and what we learned is that right now, AT&T doesn't really have a name for this platform and they are calling it a gaming experience brought to you by the AT&T network. And when asked about additional games, Games or potentially opening up to non at t customers, they stated, we do not have any additional games or plans to offer to other non at t customers at this time. And I think out of this entire story, that might be the most important detail to pay attention to. As for some, Google Stadia white labeling their platform might be seen as Stadia abandoning the Stadia core experience and creating unnecessary competition. And in reality, that's a pretty big assumption to make, especially when AT&T only has one game that is available to a walled off customer base and they don't even call it a platform, they just call it an experience. Plus, now that we know what Phil Harrison stated back in February is starting to come into fruition, Let's see what else Papa Phil had to say. Phil wrote, what does this mean if you're a current or future Stadia gamer? You can continue playing all of your games on Stadia and Stadia Pro, and we'll continue to bring new titles from third parties to the platform. We're committed to the future of cloud gaming, and we'll continue to do our part to drive this industry forward. Our goal remains focused on creating the best possible platform for gamers and technology for our partners, bringing these experiences to life for people everywhere. Whoa! Oh, it's like it was in front of us the entire time. Creating the best possible platform for gamers and technology for our partners. I think that after today's news, it's extremely clear that there are two separate divisions of Stadia a business-to-consumer side and a business-to-business -business side. The business-to-consumer division clearly runs the day-to-day -day of the Stadia platform, focusing in on bringing new games and features to the service, while the business-to-business -business side of Stadia is primarily focused on making the technology behind Stadia available to other developers and partners like AT&T. One does not supersede the other, they both exist at the same time. Which, for me, as a fan of Google Stadia, I mean, Whatever keeps the doors open is perfectly okay with me, but what do you all think? Uh, what do you think about Stadia's brand new white labeling initiative? Are you a fan of the idea of new cloud gaming platforms that are running on Stadia tech? Who do you think will be the next one to embrace it? Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Hey, thanks again for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw and you wanna see more content just like it, which who wouldn't, uh, hit the subscribe button right there. And while you're down there, hit the like button. Maybe even consider becoming a Nerf Report best friend, just like the people listed down below did. In fact, don't you wanna see your name there? I know I do.